a first class graduate. If you see this video and you are seeing it like your second year, please start that business. The people that are in the same business that you are in mm. are not your enemies. Mm. You don't use your business time to squeeze in. Everyone, someone asks me, okay, I want to buy. Uh, <laughs> is this God's calling? Is it like some money they didn't see? No. <laughs> Hello schmoozers, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Elay, as you know. If this is your first time tuning in, I welcome you specially. Please ensure that you hit the subscribe button because you're going to enjoy every bit of it. Also, the notification button so that whenever I put out content, you can know and then immediately you watch. Yes, so today I am with a familiar face because we've done a collaboration together and that was really interesting, I know, right? okay so we have the owner the ceo of ladies beauty market so welcome back to welcome back to us she was i know you're excited to see her yeah i'm yeah. excited to see you guys too yeah. thank you for welcome. hosting me again yeah thank you thank you thank you we love you we are excited <laughs> that you're doing this with us so um before goodness say something, I want, to, I want to give you, you know, we are talking about how to, you know, combine business and schooling, right? I want to give you a particular fact. One thing that made me to, you know, call goodness to do this for us is because goodness is a business, business owner and also a first class graduate. Yes. <laughs> I'm shy. First class. This person <laughs> had the heart. First class graduate so she is the perfect person for this particular episode because she was able to combine business and then come out with the first class ah, amazing my boss i greet you <laughs> so please <laughs> please <laughs> introduce yourself hello schmoozers i'm so so excited to be back here today um you know my name is goodness of ladies beauty marker yeah and um Another interesting fact, as Elizabeth said, is that I graduated with a first class my boss. <laughs> from the University of Nigeria. Emphasis on the University of Nigeria. Mm -hmm. UNA. Mm -hmm. Get the name currently, mm -hmm. you know? <laughs> so, um, combining school and business was something I did while I was still in school and uh, was still able to get my. Um, qualification yeah and um i may not really know much but i think the little i know will help some of us who are especially those of us who are still like confused yeah and uh, still thinking if they should start if they can be able to do it if they'll be able to pull it off schooling and having business as a side also so i'm here today to tell you that it is possible and yes. i'll be telling you from my own personal experiences how i was how i was able to pull it off handle the stress and combine everything well okay so something about businesses right you know some of us uh did not come from you know a home where we were like we we allowance yes we didn't have yeah. allowance like personally for me and also for goodness as well because we've had sure. this conversation before now we didn't we're not like opportunity to like have allowance at the end of the month that okay you know that oh your father is sending you this particular amount of money I every month my friends that uh, like 50 70 every month, month. Uh, we didn't i had that. none of that we didn't have that privilege <laughs> so getting um, um indulging in a business or, or starting a business in school was like to make ends meet at least yeah. for some basic things you could actually you could know that okay while you are doing a business um when you're doing a business you could get some money that you could use to do some things for yourself especially even school things yeah. school related things as well so that's why it's important that if you have a business idea you can develop it and start while you're a student yeah so yes it is possible like goodness has said it is possible to merge them as as goodness i also have my own story but goodness is our guest here so she's going to tell us how she was able to bag a first class degree while managing her business so goodness let's get right into it okay guys um talking about me combining my business and my schooling um first of all i would like to start with starting the business in the first place like how do you start a business as a, as a student 
um i uh i started mine last year during the whole nine months as a strike thing so um i didn't go home during the strike i was i was i was in school i was trying to um read and be up to date because i knew that after the strike they were going to bombard us they, they won't they, they were not going to give us space to be able to read and do all that catching up thing so i wanted to use the time and you know get myself together and prepare for them before they come back i used to be a an all only book student like a bookworm now only book i can't do for school nothing concerned me again now only book i can't read but then last year i had a change of heart i was like well let me try and see how this thing goes so back to how i started um I had this stylist at the salon I used to go to. Um, she she was always making my hair. I had this thing that we always call um, what do they call it? Stubborn hair. My hair used to be like very stubborn. So I I used to go to the salon and she was the one that was always tending to my hair. Then during our sessions, she'd be telling me things I can do to um, make my hair better and all that. And I enjoyed the sessions and I started liking the fact that. Um, I could actually do extra for my hair and uh, it would be better. So I said following her or following up on her status. And then one evening like that, um, okay, I think I went to a restaurant to buy food and then I met this guy at the restaurant. Initially, I thought he was trying to collect my number. You know, <laughs> I hesitated though to give him the number. But then on, on the other hand, I was like, well, yeah, collect it now. Maybe if you call me, if I pick your call, you you know that I pick your call, that kind of thing. So I took his number. I didn't know this this guy was taking my number, so I'll be his status and buy wig from him. <laughs> it was so funny. So when I got his contact and I started viewing his status, and um, I realized he was actually um a hair boss. Um, he sold he sold wigs in wholesales and all. So I think it's an interest in it, and I'm someone that likes hair everything that has to do with hair it's an interest in it i told my friend about it and he was like okay um if you want to do it no problem and then back then i didn't ha have the contacts like when i say contact you need to want to, when you want to start a business that is online you need to have some kind of contacts now i do not have all these things my views that time was like i think 26 because i'm introvert that time oh no no i was very very introverted i was always in my book so i didn't really have much friends so i was like how will i pull this thing off but okay initially i was like okay i'm not doing this as a business i'm just going to be doing it as something i'll be using to while away time while we wait for us to come back so i was using it to while away my time i was just reposting the wigs nonchalantly like i paid though i paid this guy to be in his wholesale group and i was not taking the business seriously i was just reposting like when i have strength i will repost and after a while um my friend was not like why not brand it like why not brand it give it a name make it worth it if you are willing to give it a try um why not make it something that is like anything worth doing is worth doing well so i'm like okay no problem it's a nice idea but yeah we went to the market we got branded nylons and i started i created facebook instagram accounts and all those things uh long story cut short i said selling weeds and i took it seriously I learned the skill of hairdressing i braid yeah i started learning braiding and then i came i caused this girl you know this thing about um opportunities and the universe working in your favors when you have ideas when you're able to like act on your ideas the universe actually have a way of bringing people to you that will help you actualize those things so while i was learning how to braid i came i caused this girl she does revamping all this wig styling stuff and i was fascinated she now taught me revamping wig styling wigging and all those things so i learned all these things i think in a space of three months in and luckily for me i um i think i revamped wigs for very few of my classmates and they just started publicizing the whole thing before i knew it i was making it like um okay so interesting oh my god so business uh goodness started the business as a student she started the business the final year actually the final year <laughs> but at least final year is a really no final year is actually a very critical period it's a critical period it is for someone and the truth is for someone at 
anything could have happened at the level you were i'm sure that oh you were doing already yeah. okay and uh i'm sure that people would have said it's not really advisable to start at that particular time yeah this is even a lesson that it there's not there's no late time do you get it's not even about late timing i feel like if you're seeing this video and you're seeing it like your second year please start that business it's early, the earlier the better the earlier the better be like me <laughs> oh you started in your first year i started in my second year oh wow i wish i started when i had the time i realized late but it's not too late anyway it's not too late to start. Yeah. so it's actually it's actually a good thing you know to start from business i started i started my own business in year two perfume business you see she did something that one thing i caught from her story is she did something that she was interested in yeah. she's interested in hair me i was obsessed with you know smelling nice really i loved perfumes i could actually use my smallest money to buy no matter how i, I will buy it as far as sentiments i'll buy it so i decided why not i just move it and then you know some of us we were not really like intentional about starting business yeah just like the way goodness said we're not like intentional it's just something that oh i, I reposted casually so, casually like, okay let me see I put and someone asked me, okay, I want to buy uh, <laughs> is this girl's calling? Is it like say money they didn't see no? <laughs> <laughs> and then that's how we started. So now we're getting we have we have heard from goodness, right? And then we're getting right into, you know, merging both things together. You know, should be aware that there can be a lot of distractions. Yeah, especially when you know that the major thing that sent you to school you certainly read and get good grades yeah. it's in ah uh, it is sweet to get good grades so i mean testimony goodness is the middle testimony sha. but it's actually interesting when you know that you don't have to receipt for an exam there's this piece you get so it's interesting to you know concentrate so let's you know, let's just talk about how we're able to merge the both of them so what are you going to how are you going to tell them like how do how do the persons watching us the persons that are interested in starting a business how do they combine these two things um how did i make it was very stressful it was difficult if i tell you it was easy i'd be lying to you it was very very difficult well, to it merge. is achievable it is very very achievable so for me from my experience the first thing i would say is you have a plan you don't just start a business please don't be like me yes. don't just go into it <laughs> but then be like me by liking what you, you want are to wanting to do why i said you should do something you like is because when the stress becomes too much and unbearable it is the fact that you like, like that, that thing going. that will keep you going mm -hmm. i'm obsessed with hair like my natural hair not really with sharp but my natural hair i like taking care of it so the fact that i like caring for my hair kept me going like i wanted to continue to do because i derived joy in doing it so you have a plan okay the first thing you went to school to do is to go and read your book don't go to school and be doing business and forget that <laughs> you, to now forget. you will fail you will <laughs> have carry over you should first of all have, have a, plan. a plan yeah this is what i want to do i'm doing this thing because i like it and then you try to set out okay how am i going to Go start about it, how yes. am i going to who am i going to talk to what do i need how much do i need the connections i need the contacts i need what is involved the time and everything you should have like a plan something you map out to be able to guide you sure yes. then um i think secondly priorities priorities Set your priorities right very very, very important, important. <laughs> school is number one mm. nobody is competing with that As one a student, then yes. your business why did i start this business so i can have something that is bringing extra money right okay so like how do i um set my um the things i'm doing according to how important they yeah. are okay so setting priorities are very important because the truth is once the business start gaining momentum like you know money start to come aside there might be a lot of distractions yes that's something that i know but as a student the fact that you actually accepted the admission the fact that you actually wanted to say okay i want to buy a degree but then immediately in between yeah. you now got you now started a business right yeah you should remember that the first thing that will take you to that town that took you to that particular town yeah is the degree so that's that's that reminder is going to help you to know that okay when there's going to be a clash i'll pick my studies first yes that's setting the priorities 
it's interesting because you, the truth is as much as okay your business your, your business start gaining momentum you start oh you start getting known you start getting more money it can be distracting we are not trying to say that uh the business is a bad idea no no, no. Okay. i did it and it was very very nice and it came out well what we are trying to say is that do not forget the fact that the school is the first thing, thing. so yes. you focus on your studies when it's beginning to class like let's say for example you have orders from customers and all of a sudden um probably you're supposed to deliver by weekend and you know these lecturers where they can be one lecturer from nowhere we just fix a class decide to fix a class on test. The, oh, sunday test. afternoon test. <laughs> <laughs> because i have lectures on sunday can and i don't understand why lecturers do that can imagine. you have a lecture on, on sunday and you know that if you miss this class serious while i go there mm -hmm. what you need to do is you tell your customers try to talk to them about it kids. and tell them okay this is what came up you know i'm a student and you tell them okay give me so, so time i'll try and deliver mm -hmm. and make sure you keep to your words about delivering at that particular time so what i'm trying to say in essence is that do not whatever it is you're doing in your business do not forget the fact that the school is the Important. first thing yes yeah. so another thing is goal setting realistic goal setting. setting yes setting realistic goals is very important because imagine somebody you're a student <laughs> you're a student and then it's the truth is it's good it's, it's actually important it's good to dream to big. dream big yeah it's good to dream big it is but sometimes you have to live in the moment and understand that okay. you're not there uh -huh. imagine somebody now want to say okay you're a student and then you are having goals like oh i want to be going to vietnam oh wow every week nice to import goods how are you going to complete your, With your <laughs> business that you just started how are you going to import it's not realistic at that particular time because it's, go it's even going to affect you if even if that goal even become even happens i think you'd have to you don't have to choose between going to vietnam every week yeah and then your studies yeah because we're not really it's not like an online class where you can study anywhere mm -hmm. you have to go into classes you know how Niger we are in nigeria you know how nigerian schools are so setting realistic goals is very important and i'd like to chip in something when you set goals that are achievable it puts less stress on you mm. because it's not like you're going to relax but it makes you be under a smaller pressure like the pressure will reduce you another thing is um time management that is very 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 important i think that should have been the number one thing so very important time management hmm. you have a business you create time for everything you have a content you want to put up you can schedule content on your instagram your yeah. tiktok schedule the time you don't have to be there for them to post just schedule it and when it's time instagram post it for you automatically like um your, uh, um your schooling you have your timetable you have um the time you go for your studies you have your own personal timetable for your schooling now with this personal timetable for your schooling you use it to squeeze in your business time you don't use your business time to squeeze in school mm. do you understand like about you it. use the school timetable the study timetable for you to squeeze Great in time your, your business. business so if you do it the other way around it's going to be very difficult for you because school can be very demanding so when you use your study time and your school timetable you see the spaces you have and you get to find out okay um this is the time i can manage this is the time i can manage and then you add things and then mm -hmm. for some people eh, you don't have to do like you, if you're offering a service you don't have to be always be available mm -hmm. throughout the week it doesn't have to be an all week thing you can yeah. do it on particular days, days do you get talking, talking about that those particular days yeah. so we're having earlier we're having a conversation about you know putting this together and one of our friends asked something that if you are if you are doing a business with perishable goods like maybe yeah. edible stuff right maybe you bake how do you you know come how, how do you manage that because for example there's an impromptu class i set and then uh you have a good to deliver yeah now one thing one thing i i said was first of all like she said you know your school timetable there's some person you don't need to you don't need to put it out there that oh every time you are available yes automatically it can be okay twice in a week you have you bake cakes right or maybe you sell edible stuff you do papier or something everyone should understand that you can build your brand in a way yeah. that everybody knows that 
every Wednesdays I can get perfume from from this Nonso. person. Yes, just yes. Wednesdays. Yes. I know people that does that specific days. You know that if you want to eat this thing, yeah. You wait for Wednesday to come. Yeah. Then the person does bulk orders and then dispatches. Also, when there is like, and that's what I feel like this next thing I want to say will take us to the other point. Okay. When there is like an impromptu class and your business is there, you have to seek support. Support from your friends or something. Maybe you want to deliver something now. Someone needs it. And then you have an important test to attend to. What will you do? When you have built, there's something in your search, you can't say that. When you have built quality friendships, you can call somebody and yeah. say, please help me deliver this thing. Or maybe a dispatch rider. What if the person not pay for delivery? <laughs> exactly so your friend can actually help you out yeah so i would like goodness to hit me on that um about quality friendships please everybody's not your friend learn to you learn to use um someone i know i think we should start yes. using that word well I know. You, you can't just be calling everybody your friend do you do you understand like everybody's not your friend when you're making friends make quality friends people that would go out of their way for you and you you will do the same thing because mm. you cannot every time this person is not doing this for me you, you, are you, are you doing something as for in the person? A, will, you, will you be your own your own friend mm -hmm. like if you had yourself as a friend would you like it mm -hmm. i don't know if you get what i'm saying so if you have friends that are interested in you interested in your growth that are hyping you even when you're not there mm. whenever you call on them they are able to so, go out of their way for you so in situations where you have clashing classes and orders you can reach out to them and not just friends another thing i want to bring in is see the people that are in the same business that you are in mm. are not your enemies mm. they are not your enemies. i think you need to repeat that thing please <laughs> If you are making hair, like as I am now, I'm bridge. I'm, I'm a hairstylist. I bridge, and I have someone else that breeds. Ah, I will make you my friend. We will be close because I know that. Aside from the fact there will be a collaboration, mm -hmm. I know that there are some things you know that me I don't know that mm -hmm. I will learn from you. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to keep you close, and that thing helps with monitoring competition. Yes. Like when you keep them close, you'll be able to know, okay, this is the way they do their own. But yeah, let me do my own like this. So that it's work for me and all this kind of yeah. thing. So and also back to what I was saying, if you have people like that, like let's say, okay, for me now, um, probably I am not I, I accepted a lot of jobs for revamping and I'm seeing myself that um, You're not I don't fit me up. up with this, you know. <laughs> I'll just call somebody like in your the line person that, that that taught me how to mm. make it i can just like text her ah, please i don't i cannot meet up with this tiny please can you help me and take some and she's she sometimes she does it too she would be like um uh, i have too much jobs on me do you have time she'll send she over some ways to me she's the one they will pay to but then at the end of the day she gives me her own court they will pay to you then you give the other person their own court just make sure that the person you're giving the work to and actually do it. Do it. Before they will do rubbish for you. It's true. Do you understand? Can so I think know. that's where collaboration yes, comes. Yes, collaboration that's, is yeah. very important. And this thing you said, business, even existing business owners need to understand it. Yeah, actually. Your competitors in the market are not your enemies. They are not. You know that sometimes, you, um, goodness just talked about something um, that uh, she used to give somebody else, you know, to help her since she can't meet up. Yes. But if you want to start a business, do not be selfish. Don't. Because sometimes that's when you, the quality of your products are reducing. There's only people that offer services. Before you know, you rush, 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 rush. You're not be able to do something. Next time, when you deliver the product, the person will not like it. That's uh, you'll be under a lot of pressure. Avoid getting yourself under pressure. School stress is a, is already a lot of pressure. Don't make business be another pressure on you. You need rest yes. because when you're stressed you out, when when you're always stressing out and um you need some time to cool off yes to catch your breath because if you're always under pressure you will do rubbish in your business in your school everything you will, will not crash. understand everything you are crash and crash. you enter hall you enter exam hall and your head will go tabula mm. nothing inside Empty. you will collect a customer's order and you will do nonsense when you are doing delivery you will mix it up <laughs> you will carry what I call delivery and send it to our back. <laughs> that goes to people because you have not been able to rewind, yeah. calm so, down, and try you know. as much as you can 
into fixing your social life into um your business and your school timetable you know that we know that money your money is important it you is know sometimes important. when when the business like i said when business happens means to be entering your head you want yeah. to do more you want to idea when you break down nothing is <laughs> and then the school work will be waiting for you of like course this. it's real the school work will wait for you if we don't do well in that exam you will receipt me that yeah. when i i got when, one time i got sick i felt horrible people that know <laughs> <good. laughs> I felt so horrible, like people that are no good. What am I doing with C? Ah, <laughs> see people that are no good. It's ah, God, not to when? brag, not to brag, mm-hmm. but bragging. <laughs> not to brag it was. Um, we've talked about a lot of things: having a plan, time management, setting realistic goals, um, doing collaboration, and other things. All these things are actually like really important, and they can help you to merge both. You know your um your studies and the business you are making money and you're getting good grades goodness was making money and getting good grades i was making money and getting good grades but i didn't graduate the first class <laughs> oh, you got good grades. I got really good grades actually. <laughs> yes so it is actually possible the both of us are testament to the fact that it is possible to run a business and also get good grades thank you so much guys for watching till the end i'm certain that a lot of persons have gained Clarity. something yeah. from this i've gained you are already sure you have seen evidence <laughs> that it is possible to do this thing i'm so glad that you know we made it to this point and i am thankful goodness thank you the family is thanking you especially for doing this with us um and we know that you, because you are here, you are sharing the anointing. Hmm. You are sharing the anointing to people. Receive it. Receive it. Receive to be it. able to, you know, combine this thing and be successful. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> if you are yet to subscribe, please hit the subscribe button. Please. Please. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Give like, us a thumbs up. Comment. Comment. Share. share. If you found it helpful, you found it insightful, mm-hmm. I'm sure you did. Please don't keep the secrets from your friends send it to them yeah. let them enjoy the good news of the lord yes yes hallelujah <laughs> thank you guys see you yeah. next time bye let's bye. go